Hello there, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I apologize for the long delay between battle plays, but here I am. You know, there's really no explanation or answer to it. Sometimes these things just happen, really. No real rhyme or reason, no real cause, no real source to blame in particular. You know, it's just one of those things. Really, so yeah, not really were anything worth dwelling on, really, you know. Just, uh, move on, we'll just, thank you. Anyway, enjoy the game. Yes, oh yes, we've got a wonderful new game by Devolver Digital. Yes, I am glad to be back. I've been kind of, well, both out of it and distracted. Throughout the galaxy, a legend is told. Long, long ago in a galaxy, <clears throat> on a distant planet. A grim fortress stood. Until a deadly force parted the heavens and descended upon the king. All dramatic and stuff. That's a big bullet. Though brought to ruin, the ashes of that place hold an artifact of impossible power. Oh, it's cool. Sorry. A g what the hell? A gun that can kill the past. <clears throat> A gun that can kill the past. Sorry. Over time, the fortress was rebuilt. Sorry, I was too close to the mic. And some who hear the legend would risk everything for another shot. To claim their prize and make what is done undone. They must. Yes, this is our new game. A forbidden tale of seduction in the Star Wars fan universe. Enter the Gungan. Hey, wait. Gungan? What's a Gungan? <clears throat> Enter the Gungan. Yes. <clears throat> uh, we've got a choice of characters. Pilot. Convict. And... What is that? Doesn't say what they do. Oh well. Bookies. Got a convict, and I'm not sure how to fire. I'm not sure how to talk to this guy. One second. Hold on, I'm gonna figure this out. Buttons. Buttons. Well, what do we have here? Show must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Here to change the past, right? You're not the first. But there's no salvation here. I was like what you once came to change the past. Now I have no future. And I'm really skipping through this fast. Alrighty, we are entering the gungeon at last. Little bullet guy jumps in, and here we are. Right. Halls of Knowledge. We will progress through about the door, and there will be no questions whatsoever about gungeons. Wayward soon, approach me and press A to speak. For it is I. Wait, sorry. Heed my words, I. Oh, damn it. Onward to greatness! Yeah, I'm gonna admit I was playing with the audio off. Try flipping these tables by pressing the button. You can use them as cover. Yeah, get angry! Excellent! Interacting, pupil. Proceed to the next room. Anything outlined in white you can interact with. This is the most important lesson. You can dodge by pressing LB. You are invulnerable to gunfire for the first part of the roll. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was apparently just forgetting that I was going to be reading this stuff. I will possibly redo this later, but I want to get something posted. It's been too long. I am not letting anything get in my way. Nice work! Bad impasse! Use your dodge rule to jump over the pit! There we go. The Whoa! Okay. I think you dodge rolled early there. Do it at the last moment. There we go. Go on through the door!
The dodge roll is the first to move. Damn it. For instance, there's no dodging through that. These are called blanks. Using one will delete all projectiles and knock enemies away. And I think somebody has no idea what the idea... Blah, 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 no idea what blanks do. Because, yeah, no. This is not even remotely what blanks are. Alright. Excellent! Blanks refill every floor and you can find them around the dungeon, but don't count on that. about breaking stuff because there's nothing in this room. You've got the basics, I suppose, a gun befitting your status. Go on, open it. Pea shooter. Joy. Reload with the button and one of the Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely redoing the tutorial for another video, but like I said, I want something uploaded. Kill him! I switched from mouse to controller, although this is really going to take some getting used to. You aim with the right joystick and fire with a button to move with the left joystick and activate uh, blanks by using both joystick buttons at once. Uh, I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm just saying it's unfamiliar and I'm going to take a while getting used to it. I seem to like wrecking stuff. I used up both of my blanks without actually meaning to right there. I didn't even intend to use one of them, but I just was mashing the controller sticks too hard. You made it! You know how to dodge roll and shoot and... Uh, you need to use items that aren't guns. Here, pick up this med kit. looking so hot. You should use it now. Screw you, I've still got hit points. Alright, head on through. Well, was that the wind? No, we're underground. Yeah, don't blame your wind on me, buddy. You see that thing on the other side? It's a teleporter. It's just game instructions. And I'm going to do this again at some point and have time to read it. And I need to stop repeating that. I fell in the water. See if I used that minkit earlier, I went down a hit point. Remember, you can warp to any teleporter on the map. Blah 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 pudding. I'll be waiting a few rooms north of here. You should try to find a better gun. Great, not only is the pea shooter crappy, it's got limited ammo. So I probably shouldn't run around firing it all over the place. Okay, looks like north is the only way to go. I tried to kick the barrels at them. Those are not the kind of barrels you can interact with. Apparently they can table flip as well. Yeah, almost everybody, not almost everybody, but a solid 30-35% of the Let's Players I subscribe to have been playing this, and I was like, okay, I've got to give this a try, and I figured, hey, why not record my initial run and the one after that, and just, just show how bad I am at first. Because almost everybody else who plays seems to at least know about it beforehand, but this game kind of hit me out of nowhere. I had not heard about it before, just suddenly everybody from Northern Lion to So Mungry is playing it. Woo! Woo! It's just such a bizarre but silly concept. It's like violence in the extreme because everything is centered around guns, but if you have two or more weapons, hold Y to pick the one you want. Alright? and tap Y to change between them. But anyway, like I was saying, it, it's violence personified, but it's so cartoonish and silly and bloodless that there's really no problem. And over here I'm hammering Y, trying to figure out why I can't change weapons when I didn't realize that I, I didn't actually pick up the weapon. If you walk over it, it doesn't get it. 
I can be a little slow sometimes, but I get it eventually. The last horse eventually crosses the finish line. I don't have any need to go back down that way. So instead, I'm going to take a look over here to the left. Break everything along the way. Because I'm that kind of rat scallion. Ah! Alright, there we go. This is way better than the pea shooter. And they provided me a blank. I am sounding a little froggy, but I am recording at 2.50 in the morning. So... Actually, I recorded around 2.30 in the morning. I'm editing at 2.50 in the morning. Like I said, I recorded with the audio uh, with the audio not recording. But, on the other hand, I'm using my good mic to do it now, so I may stick with it. Speak with me, Julie, for the final challenge. Are you ready to take it on? Face me in single combat! Rawr! Prepare to die! Let's go! Okay. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. I did not... I just... I'm playing a bullet now. I am playing another bullet now. Come on! You've bested me. I, the great Moel. So long have I rules of the reign of Sir Manuel, master of the dungeons, comes to him. You've done it, you've beat the game. Leave me here to die. Sob, sob, sob. And he just sobs no matter how many times you talk to him. Well, that's it. We beat the game. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll be back with more soon. Much sooner than last time, I promise. And, oh, wait a minute. There's more game here. I was lied to. I don't want to enter co-op. I don't want to change characters just yet. Hey, have you seen that guy? This is Emmanuel. He's stuck in this place. Yeah. yeah, it's almost like I got so caught up in the game that I completely forgot that I was going to be trying to narrate the... Yes, well, anyway. <clears throat> I will in the future remember that I'm going to be reading this later. I like this mic so much better. Unfortunately, it's a little... basically a softball-sized affair on a tripod, so there is literally nowhere on my tiny desk that I can put it while I'm playing and not have it in the way of the keyboard. But I still love this mic so much. It's a little frustrating that it doesn't have a mute function like every other mic I've ever had, but I live with it. Keep of the Lead Lord, Chapter 1. Yeah, and you can probably tell it's getting near the end of the video, so you can just assume I die incredibly stupidly. Just testing out my new toys. Oh, I'm gonna like this. I promise to get something else uploaded soon. A continuation, but it is 3 a.m. I am not going to be functional much longer. So yeah, I managed to destroy myself in a minute. It's kind of sad. Uh, new toy. So uh, I need ammo. Well, I haven't really had a problem with ammo, so I'm going to stick with whatever this is. Because it looks like a boom. And I like it, the boom. Ooh, that's a very nice boom. Very long-term boom. I just... Oh, crap, I can be hurt by my own boom. Yes. And this is how I die. I'm... In hindsight, I'm thinking maybe I can put the fire out if I dodge roll. But I did not think of it in time. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I promise to be back soon. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm sorry for the long hiatus. Please, if you enjoyed it, like, comment, or subscribe. Or, you know what? You don't have to. I'm not the boss of you. Thank you very much, everybody.